Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to give a brief demo of the Arduino compiler for LabVIEW, which allows VIs to be deployed to an Arduino target to run standalone. Aladine Engineering and TS Experts have teamed up to bring you this innovative product soon to be released on the LabVIEW Tools Network later this year. To launch the Arduino compiler, we simply go to the Tools menu, then select Arduino compiler for LabVIEW. Once the compiler is open, we can navigate to a top-level VI to be deployed to the lab Arduino target. From here, we can open the VI and take a look at some things that are currently supported. First, let's take a brief look at the Arduino compiler's LabVIEW palette. You can see many LabVIEW primitive functions are supported, and the sub-palettes are set up to mimic that of the native LabVIEW palettes. There are also sub-palettes that are specific to the Arduino functionality, like analog and digital I.O., tone generation, interrupts, LCD control, and memory management. For the demo, we are using the least powerful Arduino target, the Uno, with only 32 kilobytes of flash and 2 kilobytes of RAM. This board typically costs only about $20, and you can read more about its capabilities online. We have a couple of LEDs and a button wired to some digital I.O., an analog temperature sensor hooked up to an onboard 10-bit analog to digital converter, and an LCD wired over its I2C port. Taking a look back at the demo VI, notice that the VIs in aqua blue are part of the Arduino compiler's included functions. The ones in red are sub-VIs we have created specifically for this example. In this demo VI, we are demonstrating a few things. First, we are incrementing and writing a counter value to the LCD using a shift register. Next, we are reading the analog voltage of a temperature sensor and converting to Celsius and Fahrenheit in a sub-VI, using LabVIEW math primitives and displaying those values on the LCD within a while loop. We are then checking a temperature threshold and outputting a PWM signal to a digital output wired to an LED when the threshold is exceeded. Okay, now let's switch back to the compiler and compile and download this VI onto the UNO target and see what happens. So we're going to select the COM port for the Arduino target and select Compile and Download. Once we get the result in the status window, the code has been downloaded. Now you can see here that the LCD string that was written to the first line is displayed on the LCD. And the counter data is written on the last line, and the temperature data for Fahrenheit and Celsius is written in the middle. Now let's first heat up the temperature sensor to make sure our threshold is working. As you can see in our example, um, in our demo VI, we have the threshold set to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. As I heat up the sensor, the temperature is going up, so we're acquiring analog data correctly from the temperature sensor. And as we cross, cross the threshold, the LED starts varying with our PWN output. So we are correctly driving the LED with a PWM signal. As it goes below the threshold, the LED turns off, just as we would expect. To show that we're actually downloading the code to the target, let's go ahead and plug, unplug the USB cable and plug in a 9 volt battery. So I'm going to unplug the USB cable and plug in this 9 volt battery. And you'll see that the same code is still running. That's it for the demo. Thank you for joining us and please visit back at www.aladine.com and www.tsexperts.com to stay up to date with progress as we work hard to release the Arduino compiler for LabVIEW.